If there's one Stardew villager I know almost nothing about, it's Maru. So today we're gonna be marrying our favorite woman in STEM, much to Demetrius' dislike. Are you threatening me? In the hope that there may be more to Maru than meets the eye. If there's one villager I would say that I know the least about, it would be Maru. I've never married her and I don't think I've ever had a heart event with her. And it's not because I dislike Maru, it's because I don't know her schedule. I'm not a freak of nature, please talk to me. I worked at the clinic yesterday. We didn't have a single patient. I feel like it should be a good thing. I feel like if Maru saw me as this giant blue chicken man, she wouldn't be afraid. She would want to do experiments on me like she was the CIA. She'll think you're a hybrid. She'll think I'm like created by the American government or something. Wait, what is what is Maru actually like? Diamonds, iridium bars, strawberries. I like that Maru values radioactive bars and strawberries in the same category. That's a girl who has her priorities right. Can't build a nuke on an empty stomach? She can't. <laughs> what are you doing on there? You working on a nuke? Maru, I know how we can make that bomb even better. A radioactive bar. Oh, Maru, she's actually leaving her room. Hey, um, how's that How's that nuke for the American government coming along? Have any interesting farm stories to tell me? I killed a bunch of cows the other day. That was pretty interesting. Guess not. I guess you don't appreciate a farmer's life. Her older sprite were way better. Wait, what? What does old Maru look like? Oh wow! Old Maru was so much, was so beautiful! I mean she's like, she's cute here. She's like stunning here. Damn, look what they took from us, huh? Oh hi Seb, I just popped on over, I was just in the valley and I decided to come over um, to see your sister, to be honest with you. I don't want to lie to you Seb, I think I'm gonna marry your sister. And I know this might hurt you, but what will hurt you more is that there is nothing you can do about it. Why do you keep bothering me? I'm trying to forget about you. Just wait till I'm your brother-in-law, boy. What is this? It's some kind of device Maru's working on. It looks pretty scrappy. Oh, weird. It looks like a weapon of mass destruction. It looks like a warhead. I have played so much Stardew Valley and I've never noticed that there's like a trap door here. Oh, the first heart event. When I hear the name Maru, I think of it like Manu, like the French name Manu. So I kind of picture Maru as like French. Hello there. My dad and I were just testing some soil samples. We could use an extra hand. Could you watch this beaker for me? I'm going to grab, I'm gonna grab the last batch of samples. It's gone a little Scottish. It's so awkward when you just hang out with someone else's dad. Maru's a good kid. She's my special little girl. What? Bro, she's like 22. What the fuck? What? How do you reply to this? What, what are you meant to do here? I wouldn't want anything getting in the way of her bright future. Know what I mean? Are you threatening me? I'm looking at her soil samples. Okay, that didn't come out right. I'm watching over soil samples for her. her. Just some food for thought. You absolute psychopath. Uh, oop, you found something to talk about while I was gone. This is the too hard event. We're now acquaintances m with Maru and he's already threatened by that. I was just telling Chicken about the soil samples we're testing. Right, Chicken? Actually, your dad was being weird. I want to snitch him. I don't care. Sigh. Yeah, you want to fight me? Let's go. I'm a half chicken, dude. I'll claw your eyes out. This is toxic masculinity, dude. She's your daughter, but she's an adult. Look, she's mad at him. I wanted to say a few things to Chicken about you, but I didn't want to embarrass you. I shouldn't have lied about it. Wow, this guy's a piece of crap. That's okay, Dad. I understand. What? Why did you forgive him? You haven't even heard what he said. You're making your future and father-in-law feel terrible. I'm My future and father-in-law is not going to be invited to the wedding. Yeah, I've got to get building. On Don't know. This is not a happy moment between you two. You need to talk about what just happened. And I've been kicked out of the house. Wow, that was weird. Let's go hit on Maru some more. Can you make sure your dad doesn't have any sharp objects on him when I'm in the house? How did this dude marry Robin? Demetrius doesn't like us. And because of that, let's break into his daughter room so he doesn't see us. We'll throw rocks at her windows so she lets us in. Oh my god, chicken. My father is not meant to know you are here. Sebastian is my half brother if you didn't already know. Oh, we look oh, totally different. I kind of have the feeling that Sebastian was adopted. He just doesn't really look anything like any of them. Oh, bye Demetrius. Sorry, I was just thinking about some gadgets I'm making. You're not great at conversations, are you Maru? I've decided I'm gonna build a robot someday. One day, I will build this robot and destroy the American government and those capitalist pigs. Uh -huh. It sounds challenging. It really does. But she's a woman in STEM. She can do anything she puts her mind to. Go on, girl boss. I believe you can do it. Really? Are you sure you're not just 
trying to flatter me? Yeah, I kind of am. Oh, she's so cute in the nurse's outfit. Oh, I'm so sick of preparing these sapus. Are we gonna... Oh, there we are. No! The cure for cancer has just been broken. Once again, a man ruins woman in STEM. George's piss sample is just spilled all over the floor now. Just scoop it off the floor. It won't make a difference. It's fine. We're just checking to see if George has bladder cancer. It's okay. Of course he'll know the difference. The sample is completely ruined. I heard something break. I accidentally dropped one of the samples. I I'm so sorry. Thanks for telling me the truth, Maru. Maybe Harvey is the father figure that she needs. Don't worry about the sample. We'll just ask George to pay in another cup. Thanks for being patient with me, Dr. Avi. I don't know what I'd do without you. Oh, Avi is so sweet. He's like, oh my god, what is that freak of nature doing in here? He's stalking her when she's at work too? Hi, Maru. How's that bomb for the French government coming along? Tell me a study about farming. That's really interesting. Her character development has gone from, wow, I guess you don't have any stories about farming to, oh, that's interesting. You plant some crops. There's literally a nuclear weapon a meter behind me. Maybe you could tell me something about that. She comes off as condescending. I don't read it as condescending. I see it as like um, her being very socially awkward. Is it just me or did it suddenly get really hot? She's talking about me. That's her attempt at flirting. I guess it's just me. <laughs> This is a very, very cute smile. Would have been cuter if it was her old portrait, but still very cute. Oh, 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 what is this? Chicken, hi, come in. Oh, I think this is her eight heart event. Hello, chicken, come on in. Uh -huh. I've been working on a new project. Something big to overthrow this capitalist pig American system. Oh. Let me show you a little demonstration. No, no, no. Don't show me the demonstration of the nuke, Maru. Just put your hand air. And now I'm going to flip the switch. <laughs> just explode. Everyone dies. Pelican Town is no more. Oh my god. You just tried. Oh my god. I was just electrocuted. Maru, save me. Here, let me apply this burn cream. I'm so sorry. You better be. That hurts like crazy. You just killed me. It's okay. It doesn't even hurt. As I've got like, I've, like half my arm has come off. Well, that makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> the candle ruins the moment, did it not? I thought the French were meant to be romantic, Maru. Hello? Sebastian comes to smoke over here. You don't like hang out with your half brother? For an AR event that wasn't the greatest. Oh, Maru! In other parts of the world, it's spring right now. Imagine that. I know how hemispheres work, Maru. That's not even science. That's just basic knowledge. Let's just get her a six heart event. Ah, oh, she's looking at a telescope. I'm surprised to see you air so late. I was just monitoring the American satellites to know when is the perfect time to strike their government. The night sky looks amazing right now. I want to show you something. Can you kiss me underneath the night sky? Like, be romantic for me. Make me feel like a woman in STEM. What do you see? A cold, dark abyss. I see the emptiness of space. It reminds me of how minuscule and inferior I am to the universe. So yeah, I see a cold, dark abyss. I guess you could see it like that, but it's still incredible, isn't it? It's also horrifying and fills me with existential dread. Now kiss me. By the time any of these stars are visited, you and I be long gone. That's what I'm talking about, Maru. Existential dread. <laughs> I guess that's the trouble with being human, huh? Chicken. Um, never mind. I can't speak these words to you. Let me show you a binary star system. I stand with my non-binary star systems. What's a beautiful night? I feel like this should be her eight heart event. That was way more romantic. Psst, Maru, Maru, let me in. I'm like throwing pebbles at her, at her window. I've been feeling especially optimistic lately. Is that all you say to me, Maru? Maru, I've been giving you uranium to create this nuclear bomb here. And you're just like, I've been feeling weirdly optimistic lately. I miss the old Maru, curly haired Maru. Seb, I made a mistake, okay? Take me back, I'm sorry. Why do you keep bothering me, Seb? I'm sorry, take me back. I know I look different now, but I'm still the same person on the inside. Hey, I uh, feel the same way. I'm kind of nervous, and you? I'm kind of nervous to find out what you're hiding down here. All these falling leaves will provide food for mushrooms and other small organisms. Interesting, isn't it? It's not, Maru. Okay, what? Oh, shit. A salute. I was hoping you'd come by. Remember when I told you about the weapons of mass destruction I was working on? It's finally done, and I want to show you. Look, Dimitri's just reading his paper, and he's like, 
what Maru's project is. Hope it doesn't destroy our entire world. Follow me. She gonna lead us down to her basement where she keeps Sebastian, Sebastian real dad? Wait, Demetrius is coming too? Maru's interactive laboratory device alpha. Or as I like to call it, Melilda. I've been working on her for months. I was waiting for you to be here when I activate her. Look at her hands. What's going on with your hands, Maru? Wow, it's kind of cute. Maru's created life. She's gonna use this machine to fight aliens. And the spirit of her mother has been like, you know, stored inside of it. Ah, I knew it. Demetrius just lets himself into her room. That is toxic, dude. What is this? Uh, Demetrius is French now, apparently. Imagine if you went into a basement and this thing was looking back at you. Just calm down. This is my latest invention. Maluda. It's gonna be like a weird Evangelion mecha thing. You don't understand. Maru's just Shinji from Evangelion. She's got daddy issues. She, she, she has a robot and she has this weird girl who comes in. This is why you've locked yourself in your room the last few months. I mean, yeah, what else? what she be doing she's a girl boss woman in stem and i thought you were down here fooling around with chicken demetrius you're a piece of crap even if she was she's allowed to why did you follow us down here if you thought that's what we were doing i don't know if i like demetrius anymore you were you did divorce the other sibling yeah but he don't care he doesn't care about seb i'm gonna make the rounds on demetrius's family to ruin his life robin's next but it is designed to sit you in the laboratory so when I'm not living air, it won't be such a burden on you guys. I am sorry, Maru, but I do not want to be your servant. I have become sentient. I have been pondering the nature of my existence with the self-awareness module you installed in my neural complex. Why, why, why would you install that? This is like rule 101 with AI. Don't make it create art, it can't do hands, and don't put a self-awareness module in the neural co cortex. I've decided to explore the galaxy and search for other synthetic life forms. It's gonna fall in love with the toaster what are you talking about let marilda go free what no it's gonna no this is just deactivate it this is the worst thing you can do it's gonna come back and kill you your mother and i can take care of ourselves i'm sorry i mistrusted you you're a fine young woman this is beyond damage you will never be seen as my father-in-law and i've never been more proud of her if you have had a hand in that then you have my gratitude i really haven't done a whole lot thank you for creating me maru i won't forget you This thing is definitely gonna come back to kill us. Why did you give it rockets, Maru? What do you think, chicken? Just stare at Maru and say nothing? Uh, so is your dad just like, okay with us now? Yeah, I guess he did kind of say that then, didn't he? Come on, give me, oh. On the cheek, dude? I wasn't even a proper kiss. Oh, she's really cute in her dress. This is the part in the 2000 rom-coms where the nerdy girl takes off her glasses at the prom and suddenly she's, oh, wow, the nerdy girl was actually beautiful. It's just that she was a four-eyed nerd beforehand. I like that she brought the nuke with her. What is this? Your whole, your stepbrother brought an entire motorbike and you brought what? Like, what is this, an SNES? I found this in my scrap pile. Think you could find a use for it? Crab? Crab cakes? You found crab cakes in your scrap pile? Have your present back. This is a super gift. That was probably radioactive. The only thing I dislike about rain is the fact that I can't do any stargazing. I found this in my scrap pile. It's a bomb! I knew she was a French spy! Tomorrow night, there's a rare astronomical event happening. A comet is passing very close to our planet. Maybe we should observe it together? Maybe it will um crash into me and I can get out of this marriage. Oh, we're back at the telescope. Are you gonna kiss me this time? Remember the first time we did this i almost revealed my true feelings on that tonight it's time do we actually get to see the comet oh we do get to see the comet oh it's actually quite pretty beautiful isn't it oh my god it's heading straight for us air yeah, for one fleeting moment on its infinite journey so empty so lonely it makes me glad to live in this private world with you. That was actually quite nice. What will you wish for? I know you ate the capitalist pigs, but uh, I do like making more money. Money? Oh, I'm sorry. You should have, maybe you should have got to know me better before you married me. I'm five divorces deep. We didn't sign a prenup. How do you think I can pay for all of them? My wish is a little more romantic. If it's a child, I'm getting those divorce papers. Wow, she actually kissed us. Are you working on your toaster, Maru? What is this? I'm not sure what this is yet, but it's fun to turn the old wrench now and then. 
It's not even a thing. You should have blown me up while you had the chance. And just like that, she's gone. Hi, Maru. She's working extra hard on that nuke. She's like, I'll show the pelican down and the chickens. We have nothing to say to each other. Oh, I kind of like it that she's a little bit angry now. You are somehow more interesting than your sister. I, um, I should have never divorced Sebastian. <laughs>